How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Vault here in uh, Minecraft. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you guys have, you guys already do, smash the like button if you haven't already. Consider subscribing as it does help with the channel. Make sure you turn the little bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any future episodes of anything. And if you would like, leave a comment, question, or a concern that you guys might have about me, the series, or anything else. Now let's get into today's episode. So, uh, at the end of the last episode, I was fiddling around with the damn crucible, trying to get ourselves uh, the void metal. Well, after extensive research, I would say probably close to six hours of research, scouring Reddit and the wiki, um, it appears in Thomcraft 4 we really cannot skip things. Um, so we can't jump around on a lot of things. So what I've been working towards is an attempt to try to get warp. So there's a couple different ways we can get warp. Um, so if, from what appears, we can research forbidden knowledge. So it's these ones with these kind of ominous purpley clouds. Um, and that gives us what I believe is permanent warp. And then there's sticky warp and then temporary warp. Temporary warp would be if we ate like a zombie brain. Now, we apparently we need a butt ton of permanent warp. And a couple of the ways we can get permanent warp is so we can research, but we can also make the item. So... I'm just kind of going through and seeing what interesting golems. I, I remember a long, long time ago seeing uh, some people use golems way before I was ever able to play uh, Minecraft at 60 FPS on a decent machine. Now I played at 170 FPS and very great screen. Um, I'm just reminiscing. Anyway, so apparently there are some golems we can get to that should, and there's some other research we can work towards. And again, the interesting thing that I like about Thomcraft, or I'm starting to like and kind of appreciate, is so as we research, we don't see everything. But then there's some things that do exist. So we need, looks like, some tools. But as we research, I mean, here's we need humans. So we need brains and doggos, which means we need modus and life. Um, I don't know what we have now that does that. What it does. So we need human. And then ordo. Plop. Cool. So we have that. Uh, so one way it would be... Well, this is an arcane infusion. I don't really want to do any of the arcane infusion stuff right now. Um, but... Oh, yeah. And... Interesting. We yeah, I don't think we have uh, some of these. Uh, so let's take a look at back of the golem. So there should be a flesh golem we can work towards. I will say some of these I like that we can work towards them without having to actually go through the like scroll process. So we need four ghost, four people, or four motus. What is ghost? Isn't ghost? Yeah, a bunch of life. Boop. 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 And then I have to manually craft them. So what I'm doing is, uh, re one of the researches I did in the Thaumonomicon is we can shift-click if we don't have it, and it'll automatically craft it for us. And so we can shift-click that one. And then, fortunately, I can't just plop in the other one so we need what three and three or four and four okay so we need one more so one two one death awesome okay and the other one is modus which modus is just this and then nope nope this two three four there you go awesome so now we have wooden golem yeah we want to make flesh golems it's alive Plop that in, plop that in. Ooh, it's something we haven't researched before. Okay, uh, what is that? I don't know what that one is. Looks like flesh, which, okay. Uh, we can probably create that. So we need that. We know how to make death. We go that one, that one. Death. We need a life. That's funny. Oh, that should work. That should work. That's fine. All right, that. Then we need another one. 
goes like that. Dog. Dog was Modus. Modus was Ordo. Oh, actually, I forgot to shift click. Alright, and then dog. Nope, we need another swoop. I will say, uh, the shift clicking does significantly speed this up. Uh, oh, eh, no, that's fine. We can go like that. And then we want beast to connect to this. And that thing we don't have yet, so we need to research that thing, which is corpus. And corpus is bestia with modus. I guess we need one of those, one of those. Uh, we need one of those. Another modus. One of those. Okay, and then what did I say? It was more mortis and bestia. So let's get another mortis. We already have mortis. Awesome. Cool. So that unlocks that. I'm curious. Can we put victus there? No. It has to be a beast. Well, actually, you know what? We can put that there. And then if we do victus... Give me a modus, another beast. But we can do that. Yep. Alright, so I need I do need one more beast though. So modus. Life. That. Flop. Awesome. Alright, flesh golem. Forbidden. It's alive. Alright, so we gain permanent warp. So our base warp is increased, which is good. And then eventually we're supposed to unlock a Eldritch tab. Aspects of magic. Oh, it's because we discovered the new magic thing, huh? Okay, it doesn't always tell me when there's like new things that we've that we like get. I'm also curious how we unlock like this. I'm not sure what that is, so I'm not sure how we get it. Overwhelming bright and burns your skin. You gained warp. Oh, this this just kind of hurts to look at. It it looks like I'm playing with. Almost like I'm watching a trailer, like a weird trailer for uh, for Minecraft. It's like somebody just turned the brightness all the way up and then turned the saturation to max. Like anybody who's ever done anything in Photoshop, oof. This, this is, I feel like, one of those first things everybody does when they're messing around with it. They turn the saturation on a photo all the way up, and it's like... Oh, three, three and a half minutes. Okay, well, at least it doesn't affect what we're in this. So we're just not going to look out of this. That, that kind of hurts. All right, so Infernal Furnace. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves the scribing tools. I, honestly, I should just make a second set, just so I don't have to constantly go in and out with that. All right, so we're looking for Infernal Furnace Research. Uh, okay. Looks like star. Ooh. Probably gonna be able to go that route. Well, you know, we, we, we know what we need. So we, we should just be able to. Alright, so let's go like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. And then candle. Connects there. And then let's go fire. Do I have a potentia? Potentia. Ordo. Connects to the metal. Except, so now how... I don't know, that's fine. We just can we just redo the chain, so... That. Fire. We need tools to connect to that. So fire, potentia, ordo tools, and then we're good. Oh yeah. So we need people. People is brain and beast. Beast is life, motion. Okay. Already have it. Okay. So that then. Cool. Oh. Well, it's not connected. Oh, is the metal not connected? Ordo should connect to it. Does Ordo not connect to the metal? Uh, okay. Virtus? Virtus connects. Which 
Demetrius. Um, I should be able to plop an order right here, though, right? Yep. That is squirrely shit. I will say, it is fun trying to figure out the, the researches a little bit, because they don't all immediately work, which sucks sometimes. All right, so it looks like we can get to some of these out... I say outlandish, but some of these further away ones just by researching. Um... Okay, so I'm going to take a look now. I'm going to go ahead and look into a couple things um, with this whole warp. Also, I'm going to wait for this to go away, and then I will be right back. Uh, and we're back. So I went ahead and continued researching into some things. So from what I have further gathered, we do need to increase our warp. I haven't really found a target because the device we need we unlock once we unlocked the eldritch tab and from what people are saying is temporary warp no work however i've been occasionally eating a zombie brain which does increase our warp that's down there so i'm not sure so i'm gonna keep eating the zombie brains until something happens um and i've also discovered that this is apparently like a mini game not necessarily mastered it, because I'm definitely still terrible at it. But I've gotten a little bit better. So you basically just look for things that connect, and how you figure out what connects is you see... Like, this will connect because it, it's used in its thing. So basically, Void will either connect... So if we start it... Pragmatico, the only two things that from what it looks like will connect are either void, something that was used to craft it, or something this can craft. Um, so you, you basically work through the tree, and everything is connected in some form. So now from this, we can go into that. And then if we look at what metal's made out of, it's made out of terra and glass. And glass is made out of terra and ordo right so i can go like that this connects but it doesn't connect here so that wouldn't work right so it does help to have not necessarily the spreadsheet but the um I'm trying to think the name of it now flow chart basically having the flow chart of, of this open significantly helps so because we know that this is an end. So we're gonna remove those. So if we have metal, the only two things we can connect to metal are gonna be Terra or the glass. The glass gets us to Ordo, and then from Ordo, we could go Modus, Modus would connect. So if we went Victus, Victus, air. We should be able to go with that. That's not going to connect. From air? Okay. I don't want to do that. I am. As you can see, it does get quite, quite involved. So right now we're working on making the, uh, Bamium golems, just to kind of again push to see what we can get. Because I'm I'm just trying to see if we can increase our warp at all. Uh, well, not necessarily increase it at all, but just see if we can continue to increase it to see what what we get. Uh, we should be able to connect that, right? Yeah. And sometimes we can even skip a tier. So in this case, I can go like that, connect that up. And then we should be able to connect the same like item to each other. But it doesn't look like we can do that here. All right, so then let's go Ordo, because that would connect. Then we go Terra Life. Then connect here to here. We need. I need another Ordo to go here. And from Ordo. Actually, you know what? 
that, that works just fine. Because we can go there. Terra, so that's all connected. So yeah, we just need an Ordo. Cool, so there's... I learned that I already had a scribing tool made, but I went ahead and made another one. All right, so now we have those. I think that's all the Golem stuff for now. Golem answers bell. I don't know if, what else we have to research through here to unlock further. So I'm pretty sure there's other Golems, but we've researched all that. But again, some of the researches don't pop up until you advance oh yeah let's see that is chris spirit's blade uh what do we need we need smiley faces and ghost how do we make smiley face we need health and that and that Oop. then we need a ghost Plop. cap oh good lord Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? We have dagger, which I don't even know what connects to dagger. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Modus connects. Life connects. All right. A fire would connect. Okay, so let's go fire. Connects to beast. Beast, I think, would probably be life, yeah. And then, it, as you see, this can get quite in-depth and quite time-consuming. Um, I don't think we're going to get to where we want, because this Eldritch tab, it's really kind of hanging me up on trying to be able to get to the next part. I don't, I don't know if there's just something we're missing for it. Um... But I, but I honestly just can't can't really figure out this whole thing because for a bit of knowledge from what it seems like is so you see how it says moderate so that means our warp should go up a, a good chunk right so we should be able to do potentia honestly we should just be able to do like fire fire potentia Potentia, fire, potentia, right? So that's all connected. So now we have to figure out how to connect this to life. Uh, does Ordo have? Let's see. Looking for things life and Ordo make. It looks like the only thing life and Ordo make is Sanyo, which does connect to you. There we go. Cool, we made mob spotting, which is good, I guess. Yeah, we're sneaking. Okay, this is Tome of Knowledge Sharing. Yeah, I would like if there was some Tome of Knowledge Sharing. There's no apothecary stuff. Talisman. No, it's not a talisman we're looking for. Because there's supposed to be an another tab, which we don't currently have. For Eldritch magic. Or something. Let's see. Let's see, we get the staff core. Sure, I guess let's get magic tallow. Might as well, right? I, uh. Purple, I know Potentia. Let's see, can life connect to that? Nope. But I bet Beast connects to it. Nope. And then life connects to Beast. And then Potentia connects to there. And then Fire connects to there. And then Order connects to there. I 
think we just had a similar combination. So now we're on life. We go Terra, but then Terra and Fire would have to combine. They don't combine. Water and Fire, they also don't combine. Okay, so if we go with life, let's see. Life has... Not really a whole lot. Does life combine with Potenti at all? No. Potenti only makes one thing. Okay. So then how... Okay, if we go... That... And then we can go Ordo. Then Ordo and Fire make us Potentia. There we go. Magic Tallow. Which, where are we at? Down here, right? Yep. Chemical Duplication. Okay, that's good to know. Hey, Liquid Death. Uh, okay. I think we're going to do this one and then we'll probably call it for today because this does seem to be getting quite, quite advanced. Okay, and then so Purdito is a basic. So we could go, let's see. Let's go there, there, there. So that's all connected. And from water to here, we just go that. All right. So we go. So that needs water. So we go like that. Like that. And then put water right there. Cool. And then death, I believe, is connected. Yes. Like this. I have no idea how much warp we have at this point, but we're figuring it out. Awesome. Alright, so I don't I you know okay, let's quickly get this one, I guess, as well, because it's just a research, huh? So it's on an order craft. Okay, that didn't lock anything else for us. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to call it. I didn't, I don't know, part of me feels like I didn't make a whole lot of progress today, but I don't know, I feel like we did. I don't, again, I don't know what our warp is, because apparently it's supposed to be like a random event or something that occurs, because I, I was running all around this, just trying to figure out if we could get, um, get the event to happen, because apparently it's if you have a certain amount of warp. It's like if we keep running and running and running... just to eat up our food so we can eat more of these zombie brains. It doesn't seem like it's giving us the warp, though, because I don't feel like... I don't feel like I'm hearing the, the noise it was giving us. But maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Again, I have no idea how, how to get the Eldritch tab. Because there's a lot of mixed information on what I've seen. Some people said you can do temporary warp, which is what you get from these brains. Other people have said, no, you don't. You can only do permanent warp and sticky warp, which is basically the crafting. So I don't know. And as you can see, I, I went around the base and scanned a bunch of things. That's why we keep seeing those research points, because I went around and scanned all these, which, as you can see, give quite a lot of different things, because I had not scanned them yet. Is there anything else we can scan? Because we can take auto man off. Ooh. Love this. Let's see what else. Is there anything else? Ooh, there's some nodes up there we can scan. Oh yeah, in case anybody uh, has been wondering what I have it over here. Uh boiler went boom. Ooh, you know what we probably scan those, right? Yes. Barrel, bat, farm, ooh, but these are each different, yep. As you can see, 
you get quite a lot of research. <laughs> Highly recommend if you haven't already, go scan everything. Gained warp. Gained permanent warp. Oh yeah, I think those are from all the researches we've been doing. Alright, well, hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If you guys have, you guys want to do smash the like button if you haven't already. Hopefully we can get this Eldritch tab. I'm going to work... I'm going to probably dump another six hours into just research and trying to figure this stuff out between episodes. But if any of you guys have any helpful tips, comments, questions, or any of that stuff, leave that down below. If you haven't already, smash the subscribe button as it really helps out. And leave a like if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.